Well, let's stay with that story. We can talk to Dr. Mohammed Zahid Al Mazri, who joins me from the Shamarin Hospital in Rebel or opposition held northern Aleppo in Syria. Doctor, thank you so much for taking some time out to talk to us. I wonder how are you coping, first of all? Yeah, we are fine. We are still working since day one, but the humanitarian staff and doctors, everybody are fine. Thanks. Now, just tell us about the, the number of people that are coming in to your hospital and, and what sort of state they're in. Yeah, until yesterday, we received 550 cases, trauma cases. Uh, I mean, survivors from this earthquake. Uh, we treated them all. Uh, 31 of them, they undergo uh, major surgical intervention. Another 150, they received minor uh, treatment. And the remaining uh, patients, they received only outpatient treatment. What are the main challenges? Because, I mean, uh, the medical equipment you must be needing to deal with such a large number of trauma cases must be enormous. How are you coping with that? Yeah, actually, we are using our stock of medical supplies and medical consumables and even of our fuel that used to operate our generators. And even our staff now are just exhausted because of the continuous uh, uh, service for the last almost one week. So we are concerned about the capacity of the health system uh, in general and our hospital, of course, all our hospitals to continue working on that um, uh, rate of, uh, of receiving cases. And the other thing is that we are expecting to receive large number of cases referred to our hospital because this is an uh, advanced uh, surgery center. So we are expecting larger number of cases to be received in the next few months. And these patients will be in need of definite treatment after they already received life-saving intervention.